So, question real quick here is, what's a MASH-10? For those who have just watched this video, don't have one, haven't seen one, what is a MASH-10, what's it for? As shown in the other videos, MASH-10s hold your grain in your water. The cracked grain is called the grust, it becomes grust, and water, obviously water. The mixture combines all together called a MASH, that's why it's called a MASH-10, M-A-S-H-T-U-N. And as I've talked about elsewhere, they can be picnic coolers, they can be buckets like I've got here, whatever the thing that needs to be insulated. Some people use kegs, you know, whatever it is, it's going to work for you. There's no definite absolute best. Some say there is, I say there's not, I say whatever works best for you. So what is a mash tin? Holds all your stuff together, at, at uh, holds all your grist and your water, and holds it for an hour or possibly longer. And that's what you, uh, uh, that's what the enzymes turn into the sugars in there. Basically, it's what's going to create the sugars for to make fermentable later on. Uh, anyway, now you may have heard of a louder ten, and the mash ten is part of that. The louder ten is also for uh, essentially it, it extracts, it allows you to separate the grains in the water, and some large breweries use those. You know, they they pump all the the grain and the water into the louder tun, which later on separates it. But the thing is, that's kind of pointless because with copper tubing or false bottoms, which a plain mash tun and the louder tun wouldn't have that. Yeah, it's two separate steps. This combines them, and I really don't see the point of having two separate steps. Maybe somebody sees a major benefit, but I don't. Uh, anyway, so a mash tun is really, if you're an extract brewer, and you have the kettles and whatever else, this is really the only extra thing you need. You may need to buy a bigger uh, brew kettle or an additional brew kettle, uh, depending on what size you already have. But as far as the mash tun, this is really the only extra thing you need there. So a mash tun is what holds those, as I mentioned, the grain in the water and lets it sit and in the warm water and get you know start the chemical conversion of sugars over. It's a very simple vessel. If you've ever been to a brewery, you may very well have seen one. Uh, that's really about it. So they're they're not overly fancy. They're not elaborate, and uh, the misconception about needing expensive equipment or lots of equipment to brew. If you think about it, beer, uh, brewing beer has been around for well over five thousand years. They didn't have high tech equipment back then. Obviously, that's all we're doing here. You can get fancy, but why? We're just using age old methods here and they work fine. So that's the MASH 10. That's what you need to know about right there. There could be more to it, but that's a good overall rundown.